Okay, hello everybody. Uh, I didn't know I was started recording. Sorry, I haven't posted in a while, uh, but I don't have my same uh, so recording software, and so and all I have is QuickTime, and it's kind of slow. So I'm gonna do my best. But I was just gonna show y'all a quick tip uh, while I'm doing this. Um, so I have these right, these detailers right here. And they don't have a ro I can't rotate them around here easily. Um, see, like it'll just rotate them this way. But I want to rotate them around the center point so it's a little easier to place them. So what I did was a uh, <clears throat> I just created an empty and I reset the values in the inspector by clicking the little gear icon in the right top right, and I just named it one center. I put the one in there so it goes to the top of the list. So now what I do is I select that and then I select whatever I hit command and select whatever detailer I want. So it's that one. And now whenever I rotate it, it works. Oh, and if you go up, there's a pivot. You can it, it sh it's on center. Change it to pivot point. Okay, and then it should rotate around that. So select the empty, then the object, and it'll rotate around. Now I can place these really easily. Go to detailer 2. Move that one. Detailer 3. Bang, boom. Detailer 4. Five. And now 6. So, and then you can just adjust it, click it, and position it a little better. Ah. So, I mean, that's how you do it. Um, I don't know if you can see, but go above this bar right here, and it should be a pivot point. Sorry, I kind of cropped that out. I didn't think I'd use it, and I'm trying to make it as fast as possible. So, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And...